What's up, YouTube? Check it out, family. It is Sunday night, which means it's almost game time, which means it's another chance to get in our bag and do what we do, guys. I tell you this each and every Sunday. I don't know what it is, but I get so excited because, again, we're moments away from being able to get back in the stock market and start making some money. Matter of fact, if you're ready to make some money on this week, please let me know down in the comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe, but more importantly, make sure you help me get this video at least 2,000 likes, okay? With that being and said guys we are gonna go ahead and dive right into some charts on a day and I want to take your eyes right to the spy okay okay this this chart that I have pulled up for you guys is the SPY all right I talk about this all the time every day I told you everything flows from it however I wanted to share this with you because we are at a pivotal point right now where if you can take your eyes to the right side of this chart and you will see the 200 day which is the black line is sitting at 41805 that's what you should see okay and so we're currently sitting at 42214 at the close but we're already down in after hours around 42140 so we are fast approaching a very very critical level which is the 200 ema okay guys what you want to know as it relates to that we have a support level at 420 okay i talked to you guys about understanding your support and resistance levels so spy 420 is a level that we want to see can it hold up and we not even test that 418 however guys with all the things that's on the horizon the meetings the rate hikes the recession fears housing and everything else guys we are likely to touch and at least test that 418 level however what you guys need to understand is that if we break through this level okay you need to expect a retracement okay and so our word of the day is going to be retracement i want you guys as a homework assignment to look that up familiarize yourself with what that means okay retracements happen sometimes in the stock market after there's been a huge run up guys we've been running up for the last four weeks okay and sometimes bear market rallies they can be two weeks they can be three weeks they can be one month sometimes they can be two months okay and so we may be coming to the end of this bear market rally and we're just going back into bear market mode okay but before you jump the gun you have to respect the levels that you guys can see here illustrated on this chart okay if you see this red candle is, is starting to come, come back down okay and we're getting closer and closer to that 200 EMA so with that being said guys I also wanted to share with you the stock futures okay fall as Wall Street looks ahead to Jackson Hole guys Jackson Hole is one of the most significant meetings that the Fed has in their calendar okay and so with that being said there's going to be a lot of things discussed that can really dictate where we go from here what really what it's going to do is illustrate for us how aggressive does a fed plan on being will we get another 75 basis rate hike or will we get a 50 basis rate hike okay that remains to be seen but that's why the market is already acting with uncertainty and uncertainty in the market also makes stock prices go down so you want to know the catalysts that are at play for if you no longer see this uptrend we've been on continue you now know the things i'm showing you from the charts these upcoming meetings continue rate hikes inflation the whole nine guys are things that are serving as catalysts that will possibly force us to retrace okay retrace just simply means the fact that we will come back down to test some levels that we broke through the fact that we broke through those levels they may operate as support but if they are broken then guys we may be in a free fall okay so with that being said guys be on the lookout that meeting will be this friday at around 10 a.m okay that's when that's when fed Powell will speak the meeting may kick off thursday but i'm talking about fed Powell's portion where he'll have the podium or he'll have the mic will be on friday so all eyes will be locked into that you need to be mindful of that because you could be in a trade you could be doing your thing on a thursday and then friday come and then that event hits 
and they can derail what you may have had going on. So I want you guys to be mindful of all the news and catalysts and the events that are out there, okay? With that being said, guys, I wanna bring your attention to the XLE, okay? This is this is an energy ETF, okay? But in addition to being able to play this and take advantage of this, again, it's a contrarian play. So like when this is going up, sometimes the market is going down, okay? Things like that. But this is all the way back to 79.50, okay? This is approaching $80. And so I want you guys to put this on your watch list, stocks to watch for this upcoming week, okay? I want you to watch the XLE. If this energy in etf continues to go higher guys one that's not good for the overall economy that's not good for fed Powell and the moves he will have to make so that will really make that friday meeting be that that much more important so be paying attention to this i try to show you guys things that have a tie-in or a correlation to how the market works because just like i tell you about the spy everything flows from it there's stuff like the energy sector where you can see what the economy is doing, what kind of moves the feds may have to make. And if energy goes high and gas prices go back high again, that is not saying that we're gonna be out of this bear market or eliminating these recession fear talks anytime soon. So be mindful of that for me, guys. But this is sitting at 79.50. I told you guys, this is a way that I like to play energy. And if you take a look at what some of the holdings are, you have everything from ExxonMobil, Occidental Petroleum, Chevron, ConocoPhillips, Valero, Phillips 66, guys, some of the top 10 holdings that are sitting in here. And this is one way that we like to play energy, okay? I like ExxonMobil as my individual stock. You can't go wrong with either them or Chevron if from a diversification standpoint, you wanna have them in the mix. There's 11 sectors in the stock market. And so energy being one of them, you want to sometimes have exposure to it. If you don't wanna buy them individually, the XLE, this ETF that I'm sharing with you guys is one great way to play that, okay? Next, guys, we have the SPY, okay? Yeah, I just showed you the chart, but just in case you wanna see clear-cut numbers, okay? And check out this line chart. It's sitting at 421.75, so they're already making moves to potentially push this lower, so we wanna see what that 420 support level hold up. Matter of fact, class is in session. Write this down for me, okay? For this week, levels you want to look at as it relates to the spy okay levels of support write this down levels of support equals 420 okay then the next level of support equals 418 that happened to be the 200 day then the next level of support is 416 to 412 okay you can add 410 in there if you want to 416 to 410 just to give yourself that range but what you want to do and throughout this week we will either do two things potentially trade sideways or we will again beeline straight down okay at to some of these support levels we just called out 420 418 416 before going down to that 410 411 range okay so be mindful of that and be on the lookout for that because that will ultimately dictate what the rest of your plays are doing what the rest of the market will be doing okay that's the spy for you guys and then apple is already sitting at a critical support level so keep your eye on this this week for if this falls through because if this falls through 470 wow this will go back down to 168 166 okay so be on the lookout for that kind of move in apple all right and then last but not least guys you have tesla all right if this downtrend continues you need to know where this is going now we're still in a pullback mode in this pullbacks are healthy okay when stocks has ran up pullbacks are healthy a85 isn't too bad but write this down the critical support level for tesla that gets our attention is the 840 level so if it bounces off of 840 all is well but if it falls through 840 okay then you need to respect that we're going down and then we might be looking at 815 or 800 next from there okay make a note of those levels so that you guys can know if we have some retracement taking place 
where your stocks will fall to okay and then if you don't have these there's a chance to buy and get your position established when they hit those lower levels we discussed if you want to do puts and ride these down after they break key levels of support that's also a viable option okay or then you can always just wait and watch just to see kind of where the dust settles with all of the stuff that we have going on okay i would last thing i would want is for you guys to jump in and not fully know how to handle and play this and then you know what i'm saying these players just get loose on you okay so again a lot that I, to digest a lot that i share with you guys on a day but i hope it was helpful listen guys we got a jam-packed week you guys make sure you like and subscribe help this video get at least 2,000 likes if you can okay but we make videos like this every day so if you like this one make sure you check out the next one remember most people see the end result very few consider the journey so do me a favor don't forget to like subscribe to the channel make sure you guys grab some free stock using my link below and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace